Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Self Automotive. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another quick video. So today we got called out to the shop to take a look at this uh, 2015 Ford F-150. It's got the V8 5.0 liter. And the reason they called me out is because they have a check engine light that will not go away. Um, now the technician already replaced the crank position sensor, replaced the number seven ignition coil, um, but they still have a check engine light that won't go away. Uh, there's a certain code that keeps popping back up for a crankshaft position sensor relearn. I'm gonna show you guys there is a procedure that not a lot of technicians know about. It is a really important thing that needs to be done after replacing any component that has to deal with either the crankshaft position sensor, the cam position sensor, uh, the PCM, uh, replacing any engine internal parts, replacing an ignition coil, spark plugs, uh, even doing transmission work on these things. After doing those, something as simple as replacing a crankshaft position sensor, if you don't do this procedure afterward, you could have problems where you have like ghostly misfires. Misfires that just pop out of nowhere, come and go, and they're just a mystery. So if you guys are doing any type of repair on your Ford, and maybe you've noticed that after you did the repair, you're having some type of drivability issue, this is definitely something you wanna look at. So let me take you guys over to the scan tool and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so the scan tool we're using today is a Think Tool Pro. Um, let me show you guys, the check engine light is illuminated. You can see it right there in the instrument cluster. And let me do a quick code read so I can show you guys what DTCs are present. Take a quick look here. And as you can see up here at the top, we have a PO307 misfire for cylinder number seven. And then down here we have this PO315. This code right here is really important because whenever you have this pop up in your system, it's not going to go away even after you try to clear it. If you guys take a look at the code description, you'll see it says crankshaft position system variation not learned. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of the menu and we're going to go to special functions and we're going to locate something called the misfire monitor neutral profile correction. So this right here is a test that we're looking for. Misfire monitor neutral profile correction. That is the cam and crank relearn on these Ford vehicles. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this procedure here or this special function. You can read this description. Essentially, it's gonna tell you here that this procedure should be performed after replacing the PCM, after replacing the crank position sensor, or when directed by a technical service bulletin. Like I said, there's a lot of reasons that could require you to have to do this procedure. Um, even doing an engine replacement or replacing any internal parts, sometimes even doing transmission work. You know, you might go in there to swap out the flywheel and you put the flywheel, you know, maybe not in the exact position that it was before and that messes with the engine harmonics or the engine vibration and that can cause these drivability and misfire issues that can pop up because you have to do this procedure. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. All right, so if you follow the instructions here, it's gonna tell you to apply the parking brake. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Our parking brake is applied. You wanna make sure that your transmission is in park or neutral, it is. Um, again, you also wanna make sure that our engine temperature is up to temperature. It's been running for a few minutes now, so it uh, looks like our coolant temp is right where it needs to be. If I could focus right there. Going back to the scan tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. But when I do that, what it's actually going to do is it's going to erase the existing uh, profile of this misfire correction. And then it's going to allow us to write a new one in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. It's going to erase that. On this next page here, this is where we actually do our relearn. Again, we've already cleared the previous memory. It's time for us to write in a new one. And this is actually pretty simple to do. If you take a look here at this uh, down count, it's at six right now. And what they want us to do is they want us to rev the engine up until we get this down to zero. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of snap the throttle and I want you guys to pay attention. We're gonna watch this number six go down and we should see it go down to zero. There's our first snap down to one. We're gonna to have to snap it again. And now the function has succeeded. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay turn the ignition off, hit okay. And now I'm gonna turn the ignition back on and we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up and let's go ahead and move back out to the uh, DTC or read fault code menu. Let's go ahead and retrieve our DTCs and take a look here and see if we have anything. And right now there are no DTCs stored in the system. So it looks like we are good to go. Let me start this thing back up and see if we have a check engine light. And voila, 
we're good to go. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you're running into this issue or having any problems pertaining to this relearn procedure, uh, like I said, a lot of technicians don't know about this. And on top of that, a lot of people who do try it don't realize that sometimes you have to accelerate the engine more than one time in order to get that count to go down to zero. So anyways, like I always say, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it informational. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh wait, before we actually leave, my son wanted to say hi. <laughs> What do we tell them? Subscribe. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Subscribe. Yeah.